Francis Tiafo, the great tennis player, made it to the semifinals of the Open this year. And of course, he's a Hyattsville, Maryland native. It goes up, it comes down all the way on a fly. Mitchell Parker. It'll be his 27th start this year and a record of 7 and 9. Yeah, 27 starts now in the year for Mitchell Parker, 7 and 9 with a 4-4-3 ERA. 136 innings just slightly above on that hits. The third baseman, Connor Norby, is off to a great start in 20 games with the Marlins, hitting 296. And sends a fly ball toward the left field corner. This one's hit deep, and it is a fair ball and a home run. Now, James Wood out there is uh, quite flabbergasted that that was called fair. We'll see if the umpires get together on this one. That thing looked like it hooked to the left of the pole. Well, you know what, what did he see that we didn't see? This is clearly foul. After review, foul ball. And on we go. Swing and a miss, and Parker, strikeout number 123 in his 137th inning. There's their DH, Jonah Bride. It's Bride since his recall, and he swings and he grounds one sharply to third, bobbling it as Tana, and Bride is safe at first. That'll be an E5 on Tana. That is the 100th error committed by the Nationals this season. Jake Berger, the first baseman, swing and a miss. Great pitch down and away. Two outs on strikeout number two. Here's Otto Lopez. Pitch on the way, swinging a ground ball toward short. Abrams has it. He'll go the short way to Luis Garcia for the force at second on Jonah Bryan. And the inning is over. And Parker pitches around the one out error on Tatum. Scoreless top of the first inning for the Marlins. 28 year old Darren. McCacken. Yeah, eighth game this year. Five in relief, three now in the starts. And CJ Abrams will lead off for the Nationals. It is 20th home run last night. 20 homers, 65 knocked in, 26 doubles. Abrams drives one to right, retreating Hensley. He can only play the carom, which goes to his right. And CJ Abrams spikes first with his 27th double of the year. Dylan Cruz on base, 11 of his 14 ball games on the run. Abrams, and that should be number 29. Driving it, that's off the glove of Lopez. Everybody's safe as Abrams comes in to score. And a ball absolutely ripped by Dylan Cruz. I mean, this should be a hit. These are the ones that you actually look at, you're going, okay, I get it. James Wood is next, and there are two hits on the board. He's not going to go biting on that one away, and the Nats have three consecutive runners to start the game. Andres Chaparro stands in. This is the sinker that's out towards center field. Long run in for Pache makes the catch, and that's the first out. And Jose Tena will stand in. Is it in six straight games? That's a loud sound off his bat on a ball that sends Stowers out to the wall. The wall as he can't get it. Cruz touching third, heading for home. He's got a guy right behind him in James Wood. Nets running all over the place, and it's three nothing. Well, backdoor sweeper. He stays on it and drives it. James Wood. This ball is going to land, and he's already past second base. Gutierrez has nothing else to do but keep going, James. Keep going. Eight, nine, and one for the Nets. Bottom of the second. They made McCacken throw 29 pitches in that first inning. Joey Gallo will lead off. Look at a snap and 0 for 14. Joey Gallo with a fly ball. This one now towards shallow right center. Who's going to take over to be the right fielder, Hensley? with the first out and now with a chance to get to 30 C.J. Abrams is at first base if he'll try to swipe second base with Dylan Cruz at the plate hits. there he goes but a little line drive and it's a base hit over Norby that gives Abrams a chance just to motor over to third Cruz does the right thing by rounding first base by about 20 feet and the Nats have a corner situation with two outs. James Wood the number three batter. There's a swing and a fly ball the shallow center field Pache started in now he's drifting back calling off Stowers and left he makes the catch and the inning is over. Nationals have left three on through two but they lead three nothing as we go to the third. Nationals three Marlins nothing as we go to the third inning Nick Fortes will lead off for the Marlins their catcher the number eight hitter is hit by the pitch I think that got a piece of his catching counterpart Ruiz as well the leadoff base runner for the Marlins here in the third here's Javier Sinoha to shortstop Abrams had a tough time getting it out of his glove and then he fires wide of second base Fortes goes to third Sinoha to second base and the Marlins catch a break there on what looked like it could have been at least one probably not two with the speed of Sonoa and Aaron throw after the bobble by Abrams and the Marlins are set up second and third Connor Norby bats top of the order for Miami that is a diving play by Abrams 
somebody like that. He giveth and he taketh away. But a run does score. The life of a young shortstop. He will get an out. The Marlins will score a run. But that was spectacular. It brings in Jonah Bride, who reached on a fielding error by Jose Tena in the first. Fly ball out toward pretty deep right field. Should be deep enough. Cruz puts it away. Fires home. It'll be late and cut off. Sonoha scores a sacrifice fly for Jonah Bride. And the Marlins get her right back into this thing. It's 3 2. Berger is on in front of Otto Lopez here in the top of the sixth inning. Well, dropping one even further down on him. First strikeout since the fourth inning. And just like the sequence before that, that's just fine. Two outs in the sixth. Now, Christian Pache, he is fly to right and grounded a short. Tying run at first for Miami here in the sixth inning. And a ball hammered to right center. Oh, goodness. Gracious, what a play by Dylan Cruz. Right into the neon lights out there, up against the scoreboard. And with two outs, that certainly would have been the tying run scoring. Derek Law. So he gets nine, one and two here, top eight. It'll be Xavier Edwards, who can hit from either side. And this one is lined fair down the left field line and toward the corner. Hits off that side wall and dies, but Edwards is going to get himself to second base. He is the straw that stirs the drink for this ball club when he's leading off his ninth double of the season. The first two are on here in the eighth inning, and here's Jonah Bryce. That's up the middle of base hit. Edwards coming around third. Throw from center field is cut off, and Jonah Bryce. Ties things up in the eighth inning. Outstanding at bat by Jonah Bride. We talked about him earlier today when he got that sacrifice fly. When he does come to the dish with runners in scoring position, he's able to slow the game down. And there's still nobody out for Jake Berger. Sends it to center field, and that's down for a base hit. It's kind of a deeper line drive, so Norby played it safe and just moves up to third. Bases are loaded now for Otto Lopez. Ground ball hit towards short. Abrams fields, goes to second one. Relay on to first. It's bobbled by Gallo. Sprinting home is Bride. He scores. Two runs hit on the play, and the Marlins lead it 5-3 with a three-run eighth. So a ground ball to short. Abrams tried to play for two. Norby scored from third. Abrams threw to second for one out. But the relay bounced into first, and all of a sudden the Nationals find themselves down here in the eighth inning. Marlins finally making some noise in this one. They have a 5-3 lead. 9 at third, Edwards at second. Nationals have the infield in. 5-3 Marlins lead. Righty righty matchup with Connor Norby here. There's a swing of the line drive into right field. On comes Cruz, makes the catch. Here comes Conine. A throw towards the plate, not in time. A sacrifice fly for Connor Norby. And the Marlins have a 6-3 lead here in the ninth. Bottom of the ninth inning here at Nationals Park. Jesus Tinoco pitched a perfect bottom of the eighth inning, and he's going to place a bid in for his second career save. He is a strike away from nailing down a win. Gold strike three. He got him with a slider over the outside corner, and this baby is over. What a finish for the Marlins here tonight. Four consecutive unanswered runs they take down the nationals in game one of a four game series by a final score of six to three 